911 tapes released today give a better picture of what it was like when two dogs viciously attacked an elderly woman. The mauling happened Wednesday morning on the north side when the 89 year old was getting her mail. She has serious injuries. We are also getting a first look at the sheriff's report. Not on your side's Kevin Keen is in the newsroom now with more on this continuing coverage. Jennifer, the 911 caller was a neighbor who saw part of the attack happening in his front yard. He described the scene with blood everywhere as emergency responders rushed to rescue a woman under attack. Where's your emergency? Karina, Tucson, Arizona. What's going on there? There's a dog attack. We're pushing down serious injuries. Serious injuries, animal control says, caused by these two pit bulls now under quarantine. And it's happening right now? Right now, it just ended. There's dogs down the street. Someone's like seriously, seriously injured. Like blood everywhere. The victim, 89 year old Miriam Seymour, was getting her mail when the pair of dogs mauled her. I'm going to go ahead and transfer you to the paramedics in your area. Okay, I'm uh, on my way. Uh, yeah, I already have. Neighbors Cody and Cole Sexton rushed to help. It was pretty scary. It was pretty aggressive. And I mean, they were just, they were chained together and they were wrapped around her. So we were trying to beat them off. The Sheriff's Department report states Cody, quote, said the two pit bulls were biting Miriam. Cole stated that he and his brother managed to free Miriam from the chain and beat the dogs back to get them off of Miriam. He said the dogs then retreated. Paramedics arrived, rushing Seymour to UAMC with serious injuries. Day of the attack, the victim's sister in law told us that Seymour had several bites down to the bone on her shoulders and on her arm. Kevin, uh, do we know how, know how she's doing today? We have any kind of update? Yeah, we called UAMC for an update on her condition this afternoon, but we haven't heard back. The last that we heard, she was in stable condition and still in the hospital. I hope she's going to be all right. All right, Kevin, thanks so much.